Good morning, Paul Georgi from Allendale. It's November 29th, 2010. Well, the grain markets this morning uh, should open higher here on the open outcry. The uh, outside markets are uh, providing some of that support. The dollar it right now is up 35, but we got crude oil stronger, gold is stronger, uh, cotton, sugar is all uh, higher here this morning. So we're seeing uh, some strength uh, around the uh, the commodity markets here today. The uh, stock indexes, however, have uh, shown that we might open lower in the uh, Dow here this morning as it has gone from a higher number to uh, a lower index here at, as the, we speak. Uh, the things we got to watch for this week, we got first notice day tomorrow on Tuesday in the uh, December contracts of uh, grain markets. We've got to uh, expect uh, probably not a lot of deliveries, but uh, that is a risk that if you stay long going into that uh, uh, into the close today, you do have that risk and uh, something that you got to be aware of. Uh, other news, the uh, Argentina's government uh, representative announced on, late on Friday that they had made a deal with uh, Russia and uh, that Russia was going to be buying 3 million metric tons of corn from them. Uh, here at the end of this uh, growing season, which uh, in 2011, it's giving an indication that uh, Russia is going to have tighter grain supplies and stocks than what they talked about. So that in turn is supporting uh, the wheat market and the corn market uh, here uh, overnight. Uh, also, we've got cash markets that are firmer here in the U.S., uh, basically because corn is harvested, bin doors are closed, uh, lack of farmer selling is uh, supporting the uh, the cash needs and and uh, end users needed for if they need grain to finish out this year have to uh, bid up for it in order to get it. Uh, soybean market, uh, China, uh, the Dalian Exchange uh, were lower uh, overnight uh, on uh, ideas that uh, margin uh, requirements were increased and that China is still going to uh, implement uh, strategies to curb inflation. That has caused some uh, pressure there. And then late in the session, we did see some strength over there based on uh, user demand. The uh, South American crop seems to be uh, moving along well here. Uh, uh, weather conditions have improved in Argentina. They look like they're going to get some more rain here this week. Uh, planting progress there has uh, moved along very well. Corn planted 78% versus 69% uh, last year. And soybeans were 50% planted in Argentina versus 44% last year. So uh, the crop is uh, moving along rather well. The uh, wheat market, uh, Australia wet in the eastern portion and starting to become more and more of a problem with quality of the, the wheat in uh, eastern uh, Australia. Uh, Western Australia still is dry and, and uh, has uh, its problems as well, but the quality and the, the better crop was coming out of the east. We're starting to see some uh, huge concerns there that quality is uh, an issue and that's providing some support for the wheat market here this morning over in the livestock trade we cut out values in the beef choice we're up 75 select up 78 on friday uh, we had a strong week last week in the cash market uh, will we follow that trend here uh, this week we think that uh, we'll probably be steady higher at least uh, after a huge run like we've had though last week and it also is going to be uh, the first of the month, uh, you've got to wonder, can we follow through with stronger prices here? The asking price of the feedlots right now are 103, 104, uh, uh, even 105 uh, in some areas, 164, 165 in the north. <coughs> The futures markets got resistance in the December contract at 106 or 102.60. Uh, that's been the high made in October. If we can uh, go through that and take that out, I'm sure there'll be uh, some more stops waiting there. But uh, the question will be, can we maintain that strength? If we can, I think that will 
provide some uh, support for the the cash markets as well this week. In the uh, pork market, we've got cutout values there down slightly, only nine cents. Uh, hogs have uh, jumped higher uh, late last week in the December contract, and and uh, we've seen improvements in the cash markets as well. Uh, we expect a steady mixed market here today, and uh, as packers, some of them have their inventories around them. Some are going to need some more uh, hogs to slaughter this week, so uh, we expect a, a steady uh, firm trade there as well with the uh, product market uh, going to lead the way. Uh, we should see some improving in demand, some fill-in buying there as uh, this uh, Thanksgiving holiday and the, the turkeys getting all the featuring gets out of the way. First of the month demand uh, for beef and pork should improve. The uh, technical uh, resistance, 78.20 in the uh, uh, nearby hogs and 76 even uh, should give us some support. If you got any questions, certainly give us a call here at Allendale at 800-262-7538. We want to remind you that we've got this, the Allendale Conference coming up in January. Uh, you can call in, get your uh, tickets, and get your seats saved there. Uh, we have got a good crowd already, uh, so uh, we, we look forward to seeing you. And um, we wish everybody a very successful trading day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.